I want to show you how you can analyze your WooCommerce data using ChatGPT, how you can generate very nice looking reports like this, how you can ask questions about your um, best performing campaign, your best performing landing page, your best performing uh, products, even uh, about profit generated by, the, generated by your campaigns or how your newsletter is uh, performing. All this stuff is doable with ChatGPT Code Interpreter, uh, which is a, a paid feature. Right now is part of their paid plan. I'm not sure if they plan to um, add it to the free ChatGPT version, I don't know. And uh, I'm also using Pixel Your Site Professional to generate a file with all this data. Uh, in essence, what you need to know, Pixel Your Site tracks a lot of data about your WooCommerce orders. We track landing pages, we track traffic sources, we track uh, uh, UTMs. And this is very valuable because using UTMs with your um, ads, Meta ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, everything uh, can use UTMs. You will send information about the UTM campaign, UTM term, UTM uh, source and this data will be uh, saved by Pixel Your Site for each WooCommerce order. Then, if you are a professional client, so if you have Pixel Your Site Professional, you will have access to WooCommerce reports. We have our native reports where you can see a lot of data, but you also have this uh, file export feature, export ChatGPT file. And this file can be uploaded to uh, ChatGPT and analyzed in all sorts of ways. Basically, you just ask questions and ChatGPT will be able to answer them. And I want to explain the process from the start. Let's generate a file. Um, this is a test website that I have. doesn't have real orders, so the data will look quite strange is not an actual data. In your case, you will have actual um, cells and the data will make, make my, much more sense. So I will export the, the file. Actually, no, I can do something else. I can include the first name, the last name, the email and the phone number. Uh, they are not included by default, but I want, for example, in my case, to analyze the best performing client by email. So I will include the email and you can include the first visit, the last visit or all. Uh, this is um, configurable inside the Pixel Your Site plugin. So the first visit when I visit the website for the first time and the last visit is the uh, session that is related to my WooCommerce uh, purchase. You can define them from the plugin settings. I will export uh, last visit data Okay, export chat GPT. And now I want to um, start a new um, chat and upload my file. On our website, we have a dedicated page with a lot of prompts. This one here. Uh, I will link it in the video description on YouTube. Uh, you can use this prompt, you can use your prompt, you can be creative, you can change them. I will simply copy some of them to uh, explain how it works. So for example, this is a general prompt. You are a data analyst wizard working at an online marketing agency. I will upload a data file and you will help me analyze the data. You can suggest new things that will help me understand the data. You will use visual visuals as much as possible and let me download them. Uh, not sure if this prompt does a lot of difference, to be honest. I also uploaded a file without any prompt and it worked perfectly well, but sometimes it's better to prepare ChatGPT for what you um, want to do. So let's start like this, upload a file. And now ChatGPT will try to understand the content of your data. And uh, usually it does a pretty good job. You don't need to uh, 
explain anything they they will understand the content and show you uh, a summary with what they find in the file and also because of the prompt that i had uh, ChatGPT will suggest some possible reports i will not uh, generate those reports but you can do it because they are quite interesting um, i will actually now let's start with a question uh, for example i will use some of the questions from here um, what what is the best performing campaign okay let's see if it's able to find my best performing campaign remember this is not real data so i have some very strange names for the campaigns it takes a while before the data is ready but it's also nice that you have all the explanation each step that is uh, performed by ChatGPT to reach to the result that we, you will see in a minute okay we have the campaign in my case it's my camp 3 very good uh, so this data comes from a UTM campaign it's important to use UTMs with your campaigns so a pixel your site can track the UTMs add the UTMs to your WooCommerce orders and then export them uh, for ChatGPT to use them so now I have all the campaigns that were uh, detected all uh, top three campaigns which really nice I, I, I mean uh, it's really creative and uh, it helps you with with the the answer that it gives uh, let's try you can try those as well um, let's try this one how do different traffic sources perform with various landing pages and see what answer we will have okay we have the answer it's not very relevant because all my sales were done from the send landing page which is the home page of the website again not real data in your case it will be much more interesting to see the landing pages and how they perform um, but you you get the the idea how you can use chat gpt uh, another thing if you use our e-commerce cost of goods plugin this one right here you can add cost for each product and uh, in this video i explain how you can do it and the pixel your site professional will then calculate the profit the cost and profit for each order uh, we have some settings in woocommerce cost of goods you can uh, add general cost and you can add cost for individual products or um, uh, variations and once you have this data we will calculate the cost for order and uh, the profit this information will be part of the chat gpt file and you can ask chat gpt to do some interesting analysis around this data we have some prompts here on our page about uh, cost profit and the total you can use them you can create yours um, another thing you can ask very general questions you can ask uh, for a uh, uh, Google monetization uh, analytics reports a report similar to Google analytics monetization it will not be identical but it will be quite similar and uh, interesting to see um, another thing you can ask uh, for something interesting in your data let's try this let's see what the answer will be okay it took a while but the answer is uh, very complex and uh, nice and uh, i think it's useful you have it right here your answer will be probably quite different than mine um so yeah dominance of direct traffic again dummy data not real traffic landing page performance again home page in my case so uh yeah it still generates the answer it's very very useful and uh, nice to see how it works 
Uh, you can ask for an advice. We have a prompt here uh, asking for a, an advice based on the data. Uh, you can even ask ChatGPT to create prompts for you that will help you better understand the data. So uh, the sky is the limit, really the sky is the limit. In essence, what do you need? First of all, you need uh, ChatGPT paid version in order to have access to code interpreter that will allow you to upload your data file. Uh, you also need Pixel Your Site, the free plugin tracks all this data for WooCommerce and add the data to WooCommerce orders. So you already have the data if you have the free, the free plugin. However, in order to export uh, the ChatGPT file, you have you need the Pixel Your Site Professional plugin. So in essence, you need Pixel Your Site Professional, ChatGPT paid, and you will be able to run this kind of report. Um, as you see, it's not very complicated. Once you have the file, well, first you need the data. So you need Pixel Site to track all this uh, useful information. Then you need to export the file. And once you have the file inside ChatGPT, everything is very easy. I mean, you just have to ask questions. And uh, sometimes it won't be able to give you answers. Sometimes it will need some uh, help from you. Like, for example, uh, the, the time of a transaction is under uh, a column called event time. That's the purchase event time. So that's when a transaction took place. So sometimes if it doesn't know some information, you might need to uh, explain it a bit, but usually ChatGPT is able to understand everything quick and very, very well. So yeah, I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and uh, share this video. It will really, really help us. Thank you for watching.